Weatherland. Here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back. Well, it looks to be a beauty as we head into tomorrow, similar to today, but the winds will be picking up tomorrow afternoon and we'll know something is up as some severe weather will be busting out across Texas tomorrow afternoon and evening and we'll be heading toward Louisiana, Mississippi and surrounding areas and maybe a significant severe weather threat. So let's take a look at those threat metrics to start us off as we head into Wednesday. That's going to be the day where we're looking at uh, some fairly moderate risks of tornadic activity and uh, storms that could produce damaging winds. So that is what we'll be on the lookout. Maybe a little hail and we're not concerned about flooding. So once again, like last Tuesday system, uh, very equal uh, parameters in place. Uh, last time it all manifested over by New Orleans. This time we'll see where it manifests. But nonetheless, here's the upper level low. It's like a bowling ball coming in through the southwest, producing heavy rainfall down across portions of California where flood warnings are going. And here in the purple. These are winter storm warnings, so they're going to get snow in the mountains outside of LA down through SoCal and then farther to the east. It's raining in the desert, so when it's raining there, we know we have a system that's fairly potent and right now, though, uh, we wouldn't know it as we have generally fair skies, southerly winds and uh, this morning we had some fog tonight. The wind should be strong enough to keep the fog at bay, so that's what we're going to go with for right now. We will see a general increase in clouds tonight. Temperatures dropping down into the middle six Tomorrow we'll get into the lower 80s. It's going to get breezy as well. Wind gusts pushing in the 30 mile per hour range. We'll talk a little bit more about that in just a bit. Then as we head into Wednesday, uh, the winds are going to start to pick up. Showers and storms begin to increase and then they'll be building across Acadiana as we head into the early afternoon. And some storms here potentially could go supercell producing damaging winds and maybe isolated tornadoes. And this is looking a little bit stronger than what we had last Tuesday, at least here in Acadiana. And if we have these individual supercell storms, there could be storms that produce more than 74 mile per hour winds and perhaps a couple of strong isolated tornadoes. It all winds down as we head into Wednesday evening. Thereafter, we'll have smooth sailing for the rest of the week. But as per the Storm Prediction Center, the risk for severe storms capable of producing damaging winds in excess of 74 miles an hour. That's because we're going to have a low level jet in that 75 mile per hour range. So it won't take much for those thunderstorms to push some of those winds down to the ground. And you can see we're in a slight to enhanced risk of severe storms. Last week it was an enhanced to moderate risk, but we're still a couple of days out. This could change, but nonetheless, the parish is most at risk for severe weather will be St. Landry, Evangeline, Allen up through Beauregard, then up into Rapides and also avoils and points off to the north and east. So let's take a look at one of those uh, parameters that we look at. This is the HER model looking at what's called the tornado spin potential, also known as helicity. So this is the factor that we look at. These numbers are for Lafayette, but notice the red showing up here across Senla. That is a, a very strong signal for there could be something up with supercell storms. Then notice we see maybe a little bit of a weakening across portions of Acadiana and then another red blob showing up down toward lower St. Martin or St. Mary Parish doesn't mean we're going to see tornadoes there, but it, it gives some legitimacy to the possibility of tornadoes as we head into Wednesday afternoon. Those winds gusting tomorrow at 30. Watch, they stay up all the day to, and into tomorrow night. And then as we head into Wednesday, I showed you the graph model earlier. We're showing winds kicking up to 40 to 50, and this model is doing much the same. So out ahead of the storms, we're going to have some pretty strong winds like a tropical storm. So we could have some sporadic power outages so keep that in mind and then those winds die down quickly as that storm as the storms move off to the east. So overnight tonight, this is the new true view forecast. We'll see 64 for your overnight low, generally fair skies, some cloud cover moving in across uh, the area overnight tonight. Then for tomorrow, 3D model of Lafayette, we're pointed to the north and this is the model data showing us the sun and cloud mix that we're going to see tomorrow. 82 the projected high and then as we go down the road going into Wednesday, this is why I want to show this to you tonight. Tonight. It really depicts what we're going to see Wednesday and we have a timeline here threatening at noon, but at two o'clock we see the rain and storms moving on in and by four o'clock in the afternoon looking awfully stormy for Acadiana. Thereafter, we're looking at clearing skies as we head into Wednesday evening. So here's yet the, the 10 day forecast we will go lower 80s tomorrow looking good there. And as we move down the road, your rain chance at 100% doesn't mean it's going to rain all day long, but it guarantees that you're going to see rain and storms at some point Wednesday and I would expect tornado watches across the area Wednesday.
Wednesday, Thursday, Friday into the weekend, looking pretty nice. Maybe another weather event a week down the road, but we'll worry about that then. Oh, we surely will, one at a time. Thank you, Rob. And